going to mug me. I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Chief of Marathon. Download Veely now. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Roger and Jennifer. This is their kitchen. But this is what their kitchen looks like now, thanks to lots of help from Design Inc. Jennifer and Roger's Midtown home. From our initial conversation, I can tell they have a terrific sense of modern design. A refreshing find in new clients. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Finn, how are you? Good. I hear you guys have a little kitchen for me to take a look at. The kitchen is really fine the way it is, but you know, because we want to open it up to the dining room space, okay. we'd really like it to flow okay. and have it open to the living room as well. But I'm guessing then that the white isn't really what you're thinking? Yeah, okay. yeah. We're thinking something maybe a little warmer to go with the floors and something a little less stark. Mmm, I smell natural wood tones. Do you do a lot of cooking? Do you do a lot of entertaining? How Jen, do you do a lot of cooking? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guess who cooks? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So the basis for this renovation mm -hmm. is that this is the house that we've kind of decided we're going to stay in for okay. a while. That okay. being the case, it's not meant to be a cosmetic reno. It's meant okay. to be, you know, a fully functional kitchen okay. that we can cook for a whole bunch of people and, uh, you know, maybe one day have a family in or something, okay. so who knows. The first step is always understanding how a client wants to use their kitchen. How do you find the banquettes work? Shockingly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, they want to keep that table, but sounds like they want different seating. The other big thing on the kitchen, just before I forget, is yeah. the storage. Wait a minute. They want to remove the wall between the kitchen and the dining room that houses about half their cupboard space. And Jennifer wants more storage? It's going to be, frankly, tricky to figure out this layout. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because that's we have... Why you're yeah, here. that's oh. why I'm here. Oh, the messes I get myself into. <laughs> Messes is right. This job is going to be a challenge. Jennifer and Roger have a long list of extras they want in their new kitchen. Time for a little collaboration on this project, and Ashley's the one. She's cool, clean, and contemporary, and so is her design sense. Of course, for a job like this, I'm also going to need to bring in my contractor, Andrew. This is like uh, CSI, uh, <laughs> CSI Toronto. Home invasion. We want to open it up. And what we've sort of talked to them about is option one would be to create a double door entryway. Mm -hmm. Option two, I guess, is blow it out altogether. Mm -hmm. And option three, which we think we might like a bit better, is do something kind of restaurant feeling. Hmm. Could you put a doorway right there. basically where the fridge is? Yeah. And then could you come up and across mm -hmm. sort of half wall to this height and then blow it out mm -hmm. up above? Do you think this is load-bearing? Do you think it's... I think it's not load-bearing. I think that wall is okay. load-bearing, I think, so, okay. yeah. Oh, that's a relief. When the wall comes out, we'll also have to replace the kitchen floor with hardwood to make the entire space flow. We'll probably need to keep it about the same color that it is now, which I think mm -hmm. complements all the existing furnishings yeah. really well. And then we may go a little bit darker on the cabinets. Um, is there any natural wood cabinets? I think so. Yeah. The real challenge is We've got four different species of wood, yeah. and I just want to make sure that they can live together Maybe happily. More. Yeah. Jennifer and Roger had a custom marble table built not too long ago. In addition to all their plans for the room, they'd like the table to stay. This is going to be a tricky piece to work into yeah. the equation, but they really like it, and so do we, so we just have to see Very nicely made. how to make it. Yeah. They're ready to go, and we're ready to go whenever we can. They just want to know how long. How long? <laughs> Depends how quickly decisions are made. Okay. Yeah. 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 Andrew's right about that one. The first decision to be made is the floor plan. I don't think we can still keep the stove on this wall because I don't think he'll end up with any prep space. So I had thought stove goes there. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's sink goes here. And then where's refrigerator? Down there. Yes. 
You know what? This may be a little easier to figure out on paper, but it's proving to be a bit time consuming. Overall, I'm seeing a more um, architectural yes, finish. Too. Yeah. Really sleek. So the key is figuring out the layout first and yep. then all the, the decorative, the impact, the wow factor can come after. Countertops are going to be really tricky because they have marble and they don't like it. Yeah. I really don't care for the granite, and yeah. I know you don't either. <laughs> Stainless, they're worried about it getting dated. Mm -hmm. So unless they're looking to go for wood or another solid surfacing material, I'm yeah. not really sure. Back to the drawing board and floor plan number seven. This isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I'm thinking of doing two okay. little islands in between. Okay. And I don't know how so to, kind I'm of pods. Yeah, so you can still do this. What happens to the sight line and all the light coming through from the back if the refrigerator is in the middle of the room? Here's the key. Let's do a calculation of what their counter space is now and what we're giving them. I think okay. we have to give them more counter space, more prep space, and better flow. Our drawing skills aren't moving us forward. We need a new approach. It may be unconventional, but we'll get Andrew to quote on our best case scenario and hope that the clients sign off. Anything to kickstart this process. We're struggling with sight lines and flow and mm -hmm. how to make it all work. A lot of openings into the kitchen. This is so tricky. Like, Ashley's got a stack of plans. We've been trying to fit in that table, that great marble Existing. table. Right. Right now, we've sort of taken it out. How do we create this space, give it the flow that it needs, maximize the length? And to give them more counter space than what they already have. More counter, more prep, more storage. We need to put the hood fan coming out this, which is an external wall, right? right? Yep. We're looking at moving the sink. It is currently here. We want to move the sink to here. Yep. You're the experts. Yeah. Tell us what you recommend. And then let us decide, is it in the budget? We'd like to know what you recommend first, and then if we need to pair it back, we'll sure. decide how to do that. Sure. Right? Instead yep. of the... With our wish list in hand, Andrew's drafting a budget we hope will get the okay, because... Okay, so I'm pregnant. And... New deadline, new okay. obstacles. They have limited quantities of the Kobe. I called them last week. Lights, camera, action. Jennifer and Roger's kitchen renovation has been stuck in planning for far too long, and we've had to think outside the box to get it out of the gate. We'd like to know what you recommend first, and then if we need to pair it back, we'll decide sure. how to do that. Sure. Finally, a green light. They came back to us on Monday and said they still want to go with, go ahead with everything, and they're really excited, and they love our design, and um, let's go. Good news all around. The project is getting underway, and we've just learned that Jennifer and Roger are expecting their first child. Okay, so I'm pregnant, and I have never sweat so much before. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to get this place done before the kid arrives. Now that we've settled on a design, it's time to settle on a countertop. This is, this is interesting to see because I haven't seen... If you want to consider still using it as a counter, we definitely can. Right. The other option is you could consider it as a backsplash. However, we were talking about the glass for the backsplash. Right. Yeah. And if you had to choose between... Yeah, I'd go with that. Sort of the glass. Kind of okay, that's no yeah. to Terrazzo, the... but she likes the glass tiles for the backsplash. We're one for two. Except that Jennifer likes a countertop material that we may not be able to find enough of. They have limited quantities of the Kobe. I called them last week. But they have in stock. Um, would that cover what we need with the island? Only for the little one here. It wouldn't do all the counters, I don't oh. believe. Will it do this and this? Great. The supplier doesn't have it, but Jennifer loves it. I know what Ashley's looking for next week. Last time we were saying maybe the Zebrano going horizontally on the end of the island. Right. And then the walnut as the decorative on the doors. Yeah. Is that, yeah, you like that still? still? We're okay. Still on board with that. How about the table that's been messing up our floor plan? Do we just shrink the table? The existing table? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because my guess is you don't really have another place for it, right? No. It's a bit of work, but I'm sure it's doable. Has anybody ever been in your house and complimented your table and said, I'd love a table just like that? Because <laughs> you actually, at Sold. this point, no, I'm not kidding. You would be better off if you, like, if you know anybody, you'd be better off to try and sell it. Because to be perfectly honest, by the time we cut it down, I fix know. the piece of marble, right. build you a new base in a different material that now goes with nothing, yeah. we'd be better off just thinking well. about what that table is. Okay. 
So the only other question I had is the timing. When do you need us to Back clean up. all this stuff out? Uh, yesterday? In my position, you just want all the answers. You want to be able to price the job. You want to get the job on board. And now, now it's just time to get it done. So you want to get it done as fast as you get it, basically. I'm excited about all this stuff. You know, it'll be nice when it's all done and we can relax and yeah. get organized. Oh, sweet. Well, it's exciting because the project's finally getting going. There's no going back now. Here's the final floor plan, so listen up. This will be the pass-through from the kitchen to the dining room. The sink's going to go here. Dishwasher, counter space. We're going to turn the corner over here. We're going to do a six-burner cooktop here. And then we're going to do two wall ovens on either side. Very luxurious. Then comes the fridge and more counter space right to the window. An island and the dining table will dissect the space. This is what Jennifer and Roger really wanted, to have a table. The pantry will be replaced by wooden shelves for display and a flat screen TV. It is big. This project's big. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing, we've got to get those appliances out of the kitchen. Okay, I'm still... What we're about to do here is find out the easy way of where this circuit goes. Jesus Christ. He thinks he's got problems. I'm sorry, but with a kitchen this size, you cannot say, I need a subwoofer here, I need a pantry here, I need a table for four, I need a TV, I want two ovens, I want a giant fridge, I want, I want, I want, I want, and not like this, like we're gonna have stuff hanging from the ceiling. No. Jennifer and Roger want a new open concept kitchen. Off the bat, we get mired in floor plans. It's gonna be, frankly, tricky to figure out this layout. The key is figuring out the layout first, and yep. then all the, the decorative, the impact, the wow factor can come after. Plans have been finalized. Jennifer and Roger have moved out. Now the fun part, demolition. Jennifer and Roger are expecting a baby. This means she'll stay away from the house for any demolition and use of chemicals. <laughs> this line here? Yeah, like bring one here. I want to get it done in six weeks, which is kind of tight in some regard. Uh, I think it'll probably take eight to complete everything. Now that work is underway in Jennifer and Roger's kitchen, it's time to finalize the countertop. Remember that purple Colby slate that was out of stock? Well, Jennifer still loves it. Issue. Not enough slate on the planet for that, unfortunately. Yeah, no, it's totally brutal. They had five slabs, but they're tiny slabs. They're 30 by 90s. They're not your usual. What's, what's our backup? If the slate's a bust, uh, then, um, then I would suggest maybe a different colored slate. Okay. How do you feel about that, Jennifer? I don't really love the other. That's where you win or lose the game, keeping everybody happy. Keep everybody's expectations in line and delivering what you're supposed to. So. That's why I like working with Andrew. He's usually right, and in this case, Jennifer's not going to be happy unless she gets that purple slate got to think outside the box. So that's the home slab. That's the only one in the free world, right? That, that's the only Our supplier one only has here. one home slab, but it turns out he has four other slabs with a cleft edge. They may still be large enough once honed and the edging detail is removed. Right, so we can send it out, have it honed, and work that's with right. it. That's right. The marble shops hone, hone those out. We have a total of 30 running feet of material plus the 60, and there are 35 running feet of material. The 60 will do these two sides. Mm -hmm. We'll have to seam it around the cooktop, go okay. to the full slab here, 30, 30. Another piece will do that, so we're good here so far. So that's one, two slabs, three, four, we're good. What happened with the camera Everything, Everything's great. Okay, we Everything. have enough slate, yes. we're good to go, and it's the Kobe purple, and I love it, okay? That's great news about the slate. Now, on to the floor plan, which I thought we'd finalized a little while ago. Okay. So, another concern was there was a pantry on this wall here. Jennifer uses or has cereal three times a day. Anyway, she's very, I guess they're in and out of that. That's what I was told. They're in and out of that, that pantry all day long. It's funny the things you learned about people when you decide It is, kitchen. it is. And I guess it dawned on her that there is no pantry. 
and that she needs somewhere to put that stuff. I'm sorry, but with a kitchen this size, you cannot say, I need a subwoofer here, I need a pantry here, I need a table for four, I need a TV, I want two ovens, I want a giant fridge, I want, I want, I want, I want, and not like this, it was like we're gonna have stuff hanging from the ceiling. No. <laughs> it's not gonna work. At be. this point, we've got a kitchen that's being built. Yes. We have a kitchen that's being built and a plan that is not 100% signed off on. So right. by end of today, are we gonna have I'm going, like, yeah. We I'm have to have that. a sign off. No, stamped it, no erases, no changes. <laughs> Nothing can change from this point on. My frustrations, yeah. it's getting everyone on the same page and understanding exactly, you know, how the room is supposed to be used. It's a very, very, very important room. It's in the middle of their main floor. It connects their whole main floor. So the flow, there's a lot of things happening. Jennifer and Roger love the hardwood floor that exists in the rest of the home. So we're going to carry the same flooring through the kitchen to unify the space. Things are moving now. The floors are underway and the kitchen cabinets are ready for delivery. Everything's worked out. Perfect. Hey, hey. Looks nice. We've sprayed the lower cabinets and drawer fronts in a solid color to create some contrast between the dark oak on the floor and the natural walnut on the upper cabinet doors. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. We're on a roll. Jennifer's even getting extra storage on both sides of the kitchen island to more than make up for losing the pantry. Back to our ever-evolving kitchen renovation to hear even more good news. Jennifer and Roger have agreed the best way to incorporate seating is to extend the island and add counter height stools. To give them even more storage, we're going to use the back side of the kitchen pass-through to house china and stemware and a bar. This piece mm -hmm. should probably be, I'm going to say it should be the same depth as the front of these cabinets. Yep. Yeah. And it should just be a full height piece. But just when you think you're almost there, the rug gets pulled out from under you. We have a problem with Jennifer and Roger's kitchen. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that there's something wrong with, they think there's something wrong with the urethane because it's all peeling and bubbling off. This is bad. Uh, what are the chances that you might be able to help me out in getting the final coat put on the floor? Looks like it's back to a hotel for Jennifer and Roger. Fingers crossed this gets done soon. Jennifer and Roger's kitchen, a maze of floor plans. Like yeah, we I have do. to have a sign off, no stamped it, no erases, no changes. Nothing can change from this point on. But having a direction doesn't make it trouble free. They think there's something wrong with the urethane because it's all peeling and bubbling off. I'll have to call in a favor to get this one fixed. What are the chances that you might be able to help me out in getting the final coat put on the floors? We would love it and I'd be forever grateful. Okay, Ashley, I just begged and pleaded. Yeah, <laughs> Baby's like, coming any day. Baby is gonna arrive in five months. Okay, so I stretched the truth a little bit. How are you? Not your okay, boys. But hey, the floor's got done and it's on to finishing touches. So far, so good. Without a doubt, this room's moving on toward a happy ending. Exactly, you know what, I was thinking that too. Time for the Design Inc. team to restore some order and make it beautiful. What do we have to do, though? We've got chairs in the dining room. OK, so basically, like, table setting. shelving pockets, like we've got these three here, and the other one's beside the refrigerator. Take off the painter's tape? Yes. Yeah, we can do that. That yeah. was last minute Andrew's stuff. Yeah. So we'll do that. We have stools for here. We have stools for there, so can I just get those for my car? Great. I love it. 
love this. Look at the texture in this. I know, it's sleeve. amazing. And all the color variation. Maybe I kind of like to dress these shelves here. Yep. The kitchen's great. Yeah, we love our new kitchen. Good, this looks. The counters, I think, is fantastic. But Roger's really the big cook, so. Now it's kind of like having the cook's table in a restaurant. It's just so wonderful to walk in your house and see it open and be able to sit at the counter and make a meal or sit in the living room. When you get it right, it's magic.